Now, it can be very difficult to find work when you're over 50, especially if you've become redundant. But we're going to meet Karen Gerard, who at the age of 62 decided on a career change. Now, she was holidaying in Cairns and visiting conferences and forums for the last 20 years. She decided to make a permanent move to the region in August last year because she says it always felt like home and it was a great community to work in. And Karen joins us on the line. Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you tonight? Very well, thank you. Now, you're, you're living in Cairns now. Yes, I am. Before you made this big career change, and we'll talk about that in a second, what were you doing before that for work? All right. Um, I lived and worked in Alice Springs for about 17 years before I made my sea change to Queensland. Um, the last 10 years, I've been, I was working in Rockhampton in a number of um, community development positions and also working as a care coordinator in, in aged care. Mm-hmm before I made the move up here. And you say in that role you became a bit disheartened and a bit frustrated. Why? What happened there? Um, I, you know, I just became a bit disheartened because I felt that um, clients weren't being given enough choice Yeah. and enough um, they weren't able to have enough input into what was happening for them and what support was given to them. And I got very frustrated with um, lots of policies and regulations about what we could and couldn't do, mm. whereas I believe that it really needs to come down to what the client wants and not what we want. So, Karen, at 62, you're big, bold and brave and made a career move. What gave you that confidence? Um, I, was a, uh, probably, I did a couple of years as a community action leader for Rockhampton and I'd found it quite difficult to find work after that, uh, in disability service and, and community development, work that interested me. And so I thought about, well, I've actually got a passion for the very best in home care. And that's after having a lived experience of seeing my late mother supported to stay in her own home through home care interstate. And it was such a positive experience for all the family. I felt that aged care was probably the next step for me. Okay, so why did you, that's why you decided you wanted a change, And but why yeah. the move to Cairns? You couldn't have done that in Alice Springs or in Rockhampton? Um, I could have, but um, living in Cairns had been a lifelong dream since I first visited in 1974, driving over from Alice Springs when it was all dirt roads. Yeah, I bet it's changed a lot. <laughs> oh, it certainly has to the spectacular tropical coast. And... The um, exciting and refreshing way of delivering home care within Vigor came up and it was in Cairns. Yeah. So I said, I'm going. I'll do it. It's a tough life living in Alice. I reckon I was there recently. Um, it's beautiful. But did you find you struggled from being so far off the coast? Um, yes, I did. You know, Friday nights would come and you think, I really want to go down the beach and sit and have fish and chips. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of beach, but it went out a few hundred million years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true enough. And yeah. the tide doesn't often get water in it, does it? No, it doesn't. It yeah. doesn't. Yeah. So I thought, well, 17 years was a pretty good inning. Yeah. It's time for me to make a move to the to the coast. And is it going well? Because often you find that people want to retire to somewhere that they love, a coastal spot. I'm going to say Gold Coast. My mum did that and it didn't work. She got there, she had a good time for a while, but then she came to this crashing realisation that she didn't really know anybody deeply because she just kind of parachuted in there at the age of 60-odd. How are you going with that? Um, I'm finding it um, really um, easy to settle in. Uh, it's possibly because of the work that I do, mm. because I get to meet so many people. Yep. Um, I have a list of friends and families who are arriving fairly regularly, for a holiday in Cairns <laughs> with Karen now. I know where you I live. Don't, I don't feel isolated. Yeah. Um, and there's always Skype and FaceTime mm. to keep in touch with people that I'm close to. Yeah, I think the work makes a big difference, doesn't it? I think it does. There, there's changes recently in the government's home care packages which give people more choice in the care that they need. Um, what benefits have you seen since that was brought in? Have you noticed a difference? Are people sort of, you know, more, um, I guess, vocal about what they want and don't want? Oh, definitely. I think the most dramatic change has been in the control of the home care package going to the client mm. who then has that opportunity to make choices about which aged care provider works with them, when the support is scheduled and what type of support is delivered. It's very different from previous aged care funding, which was the opposite with the service provider.
provider you all mentioned, all, holding everything. You mentioned your mum had great outcomes in being able to stay at home. Are you seeing more people go down that path now? Oh, definitely. When they realise that there, there is support and they do have a choice that they can stay home, then they're wanting, they're wanting to take it up and wanting to go down that road. Yeah, well, I think most of us want to stay in our home. Yeah, why wouldn't you, I guess? Yeah. So what's your advice for people listening who might find themselves perhaps out of work later in life or not enjoying what they're doing as you weren't and, and want to try something completely different but they're a little bit worried about how it's going to work out? Um, well, I would say that if there's something else that you would like to have a go at, then look into it now. There's a wealth of online certificate training available as well as some self-paced learning through TAFE and uni. Um, you can have an opportunity now. Maybe you won't be a rodeo champion or a world-class surfer. <laughs> but, both, but both of those careers have many support roles. <laughs>